I was commissioned by Octopharma to tell the story of nine different people from around the world living with rare bleeding disorders and immune diseases. I would make a short film about each person. Getting to these people involved a lot of travel, as some were based in Europe, South America, the United States, and Canada. I had to pack for a variety of weather conditions. Canada was hitting temperatures of minus 35, whereas South America was soaring to around 35 degrees centigrade. I would visit the nine people in their homes, interview them, and then follow them around, capturing their everyday lives on film. When I arrived, I didn't waste any time finding a good place to set up the interviews, as I wanted to spend the majority of my time getting to know each person and the challenges that they faced. I'd be asking people to talk about very intimate parts of their lives, so I knew I'd have to approach this with an open heart for them to let me in. Each and every person I met welcomes me into their homes with open arms. This is my favorite sort of filmmaking. It's natural, relaxed, we're not pushing an agenda, there's no script, no auto cue, no big crew. We're telling real stories about real people. It's honest documentary filmmaking. One thing I've always loved about documentary filmmaking is that you get to learn about subjects you may know very little about. I'd heard of some of these rare diseases before, but I had no idea the impact they had on people. Three things stood out to me. One, how incredibly brave all of the people I met were. Two, and how amazingly complex and wonderful the human body is. It's doing all these incredible things every second of every day, and it's easy to take them for granted. And three, how mind-blowing research by scientists is that they can understand these conditions and offer a solution to them. It was an incredibly humbling experience and I felt very privileged to meet these brave and inspiring people, ranging from an excited six-year-old boy to an adventurous 71-year-old woman. I was lucky enough to have the opportunity to tell their story and for them to let me into their worlds for a short time. In many cases, they had felt alone and isolated at the beginning until they had their diagnosis and understood their condition. Then they could take control of it, and with the right treatment, they could live a relatively normal life. It was fantastic to get an opportunity to meet these people from all across the world. While I was traveling, I was so focused on the assignment and making sure I captured everything I needed to make the films. It wasn't until returning home that I realized what an emotional journey that I'd been on. Connecting with so many amazing people, some of whom I'm still in touch with, Cheesy as it sounds, more than ever, I'm in awe of the sheer resilience of the human spirit when faced with adversity. It was an experience I won't forget. Thanks to Octopharma for commissioning the project. And I want to say thank you to everyone I met on this journey. Patsy on her boat, Lisa on the island, Gabriella, the future chief of police, Yannick with his ukulele, Ed Carlos and his amazing dancing, Edgar and the American football team. Donna, one of the bravest women I've met. Daryl, whose kids want to play for the Harlem Globetrotters. And Taddeo, the superhero. Be well and take care of yourselves.